Hello, goodies. Good afternoon. Good evening to you all. And I hope you all felt excited and really happy after receiving all your certifications and recognitions in hand. Right? So with that happy spirit, let's get into today's session of 26 in Inspiring Eng Minds. Today's topic is about readers become leaders. Who doesn't want to become a leader? Right? So everyone likes to be a leader. But to be a leader, we need to develop certain set of skills. There are n number of skills that require to be a leader. Not only to be a leader, to be a good human being, we need to have certain set of skills. So the one easy way to develop those skills is through reading. But before getting into that core topic, I would like to tell you all one interesting facts about our brain. So we all know that the brain is a control organ in our body. So for all the actions and everything, we require instructions, signals and approval from our brain. Do you know that we have two sides in our brain? One is the right and left side of the brain. Each side of the brain are responsible for different activities. For example, last week you all participated in the arts, sketching, painting and all that uh, competitions, right? So for that art skills to be on the peak, we require that right side of the brain cells to be highly active. So the right side brain cells are responsible for creativity, art skills, creation, creating something new and the feeling, the emotional connections and a great deal of imaginations and intuition for all those right brain cells to be active. Similarly, on the left side, if you want to excel in maths in all that calculations and to do it in a greater speed and to think out of the box, to create brand new ideas and analytical thinking, logical thinking, and um, like linguistic skills for everything, we require the left side brain cells to be active. But we are studying all the subjects. We are not only studying maths, we are not only studying creativity or arts, we are doing studying all the subjects and we want to excel in all the subjects, right? So in that case, we need to keep both the right and left side of the brain to be powered up. For that, one easy way to keep both the side of the brain to be active is through reading. So this reading is really important. Let's see what happens when we read books. So I'm talking about the books, not about your academic books. Apart from your academic books, there are n number of informational books are available. So we need to spend every day some amount of time to read those books to increase our knowledge. So when you read those books, what happens? Your vocabulary and your knowledge increases by 50 percentage. See, you, you and all your friends are having a similar kind of book. The same study books like Max, English, Geography, Biology, all that you book, all are having a similar kind of books. And teacher is teaching you that concept for all of you in a similar way. But in that case, how, how, what is the possibility that you can be a leader amongst all your friends? You all are getting the similar type of a knowledge, right? So in that case, to, you need to have some extra knowledge. Some like not only about the knowledge, you need to have a good communication skills or you need to explain everything in a greater way. And you need to handle situations in the right way and you need to handle people in a better way. All the things are like skills which is required to be a leader. So these skills can be easily developed if you gather knowledge apart from your academic books through other informational books. So as I told you, what happens when you read other books, you try to learn new words. And when you read these new words, you'll get to know that, okay, there are several other synonyms are available. So we can use that in our communication. So when you start using those new words in your communication, 
So people will tend to be surprised. So since you started using a n number of vocabulary, your linguistic skills will tend to improve and it reduces the stress by 68 percentage. It is not only for adults, even for kids, it reduces the stress level because since you are accustomed to the regular pattern, like morning you're getting up and doing your normal routine, attending your online classes or going to school, and then after school you're doing your homework and the gadgets, TV or something, and then you eat your dinner and go to sleep. This is like a normal routine. But this routine pattern on a long run basis will create a unexplained stress to our body. So to break that stress and to have some relaxed mind power, you need to read, indulge yourself in reading habit. So as I told you, the books can boost your mood, will sharpen your brain because when you read books, as I told you, the right side and the left side of the brain cells are active. So it boosts your mood and creates a mental alertness and relaxes by reducing your stress level in the body. And it also brings people together. The reason because when you read books, you will know how to handle people well. And you will know what other people would feel in, in a kind of a bad situation and how to console those, those people and everything you tend to learn through reading. So this brings people together and people tend to feel comfortable with you. So reading is the best workout for your brain. So it increases your memory power and concentration ability. And also to have a great deal of imagination, we require this reading habit. I'll explain you how this reading is helping our imagination power. For example, in our inspiring ink minds, we have different age groups of children, right? We have people from um, two and a half years to 12 or 13, more than that. So for a smaller children, I would tell you that maybe they cannot read, right? They are not aware of alphabets. They are not aware of words and everything. So for them, parents can read stories to them on everyday basis. So either on every day basis or bedtime stories they can read, all they require is only 15 minutes. If they start developing this reading habit to the kids, what they need to do is they need to keep the child at a place and give them the book and help to point them on the words or the pictures. So for a smaller children, it is very, very essential that they need to point the, we need to point the pictures or the words. So that they try, they try to have that interest. This is creating a bonding so that the kids try to have that interest to read the books. So we need to express, the parents need to express the story in an interactive manner. So we need to tell them, we need to ask them in, uh, in between some questions, make them nod their head or say no, say yes, like that. We need to make them interactive. So if we do like that, the, it is, what happens in our brain is when you explain that story, happiness with a good deal of expressions that started stored, that, that reflex will get stored in the baby's mind, children's mind. So what happens? The child will know that this kind of uh, that expressions will give a kind of a warmth feeling. And this kind of a sad impressions is something bad. Something bad is happening to other person. So that time we should not laugh. We should not, that is not good. That is happening. So what we need to do, all that kind of little informations the child will tend to learn. So which is very, very important. Even if they are little, even before they start talking or reading, it is very, very important to read books to your kids on a daily basis. And for a bigger children, four years or older, even if they are not able to read, at least through the pictures, they're able to develop the story. They will extract the content of the story. So what happens when the children read books? You're just reading the sentences, right? So even the, some books may have pictures, some books may not have pictures. But when you start reading those words, 
your brain will automatically bring that photographic image in within within you because when you read the words there was a beach so immediately your brain will bring that picture into your mind so you will start making the photos in your minds so this is what is initiating your imagination skills so what happens that photo photographic image will start to appear in your brain for example if you haven't seen harry potter movie i would recommend you all to read the books the book will be little bigger but you can make a progress slowly so even if you read one or two pages that is fine so when you start reading that harry potter story you will when you read that harry potter visit the castle and the hogwarts and everything your brain will start developing the image of school hogwarts school or the hogwarts castle so you will make your own castle and you will make your own harry potter in your mind you can bring that image into your paper you can draw that you can sketch it in the paper so you will bring it into vision so this is what is the power of imagination and creativity so you can develop your own harry potter harry potter's friends and the castle and the broomstick and the witches and everything and you you just have this with you and later you can watch that harry potter movie so you will get to know that how that imagination have made that movie director to brought that image into your vision through that movie so start reading books and indulge yourself get lost in that story and give a pure concentration even if you're reading for 10 minutes or 15 minutes give a pure concentration i know that when all of you watch cartoon for even for one hour or two hours you try to give yourself uh, wholly right so similarly you have to give a pure concentration when you read books you all know to develop this reading habit all you need is only 7 days that is only one week is what you require to develop this reading habit so spend minimum time every day for a continuous one week and give a pure concentration then you will see the magic of this reading habit so i told you that reading is very good and it is creating your imagination skills and everything and apart from that you know there are five top benefits five top like good things that you will get through this habit of reading i told you that to become a leader we need to have a certain set of skills to be a good human being also we need certain set of skills these are the five top skills that we require one is people skills as i told you when you read books what happens for example you are reading a story about a puppy and in that story it states that the puppy got hurt and it was bleeding and everything so what will you how do you react as soon as you read that sentence you will feel very sad but there was no real puppy there was no image of puppy and you didn't see that puppy is getting hurt but still your heart is feeling for that so that is a kind of empathy you will understand how the puppy would have felt how the, how the puppy would have gone through that pain so you are imagining that that is what is making you feel sad so similarly this is very very helpful this feeling of empathy is very very helpful to develop that people skills so as you grow or even your um, within your family your sister got hurt or your mom is tired or dad is tired after office work you will know how the people will feel so you will try to console them you will try to comfort them and you will help them in, to make them in a better way so all this is what we call as people skills and this is very very important and communication since you will tend to learn very new, like brand new words and you will implement it in your communication and that will make you a better communicator for example you know how to deal with the crowd if you're reading something you will know how to communicate this how to explain this to the group to your friends or your family so whether your friends will understand this word or not what are the other words i can use instead of this complex words so everything you will get to know so that will make you a better communicator and better thinker 
So you, you keep on imagining. So whenever you read books, that imagination skill is keep on working. The creativity is working. So the brand new idea is creating on an everyday basis, whenever you read. So you will be a better thinker. You will come up with the solution for any problem immediately. And mental alertness. The books, the book reading is giving you like ample of information. So your brain starts to store that information. And that is giving you that information whenever you recall that. So for all that increases your mental alertness, concentration power and memory skills. And as I told you, it reduces your stress and giving you relaxation. So all this brain cells, when they work, what happens? It is keep on working. It does not make your body to be in a very stable state or a lazy state. So it is re re releasing all the unwanted toxins from your body and make you very active and that making you relaxed. Active at the same time, your body is highly active and your brain is highly active. There is no toxins at all. You're super energetic. So there is no bad things that stays in your body. So that is releasing all the stress and make you happy and relaxed. So this habit of reading is dreaming with open eyes. So whenever we sleep, we'll tend to get a dream because some imaginary things are coming. That is what we call as dreaming, right? But when you read books, what happens with your open eyes when you read? Automatically, that imagination is still working. So that is what they are saying. It is like dreaming with open eyes. So these are the benefits. As I told you, like we know that reading habit is really important to develop a people skills and to be a good human being and to become a leader in future. And there are n number of benefits are there. How to develop this reading habit? So the first and foremost thing is you need to create a reading corner, reading place at your home. You need to fix a place, one proper place at your home and you need to fix a time. For example, after my regular housework or like homework, I will be spending minimum 15 minutes of time to read some other books, some interesting books. So fix a time, fix a place and collect some books in hand. So you need to have some set of books in your study corner and fix a time and start reading books. And it doesn't stop with the reading. You need to express and explain that story to your friends or family. It doesn't need to be some stories. It could be like some other morals alone. You can just explain it to your family and friends. Some interesting facts alone, so you can explain it to your friends and family. But the same way how you have felt when you read the books. So when you explain, the other people should have the same kind of feeling. So you need to communicate that feeling along with the information to other people. And you need to create connections between reading and real life, which means, you know, for example, you're reading some story about friendship and there were some fighting quarrel among your friends and, and they decided to sort it out by discussing it and coming to the common ground of acceptance. So this is kind of a information that you get from the book. So later, when you face the similar situation, like when you are having a fight between your friends, among your friends, what you need to do, you need to implement that concept in that situation. So you need to make them calm and sit and discuss and come to a common terms. So in this way, you need to relate your real life into the story. What about the concepts that you have read? And you need to implement that good concepts in your real life too, okay? And you need to read every night. So which is very, very crucial because you, whenever you go to sleep, you, it, uh, it shouldn't be like you're watching a TV and then you fell asleep or you're watching a TV and then you go back to sleep after your mama constantly um, pestering you to go to bed. It shouldn't be like that. Before one hour, one hour before you go to bed, you need to keep your mind in a relaxed manner. As I told you, the reading is make you relax, right? So start reading book before you go to bed. 
read every night you tend to read minimum 5 to 10 pages of book so this is these are the things which will make you develop that reading habit so we need only one week of constant uh, effort from you guys to develop this reading habit and if possible you can visit library once in a month so that you will get to know what are the n number of books there are available so i'll take you uh, that information also like what are the types of books that are available so that you can choose your favorite genres we have realistic fiction which means like some cooked up stories that could happen in our life so it is story about some puppies or whatever or a small girl and uh, facing some challenges and all such so it is a realistic fiction and historical fiction so what happened in the past so talking about what happened in a certain time the stone age period people have developed that fire by rubbing the stones and all that information so about our past certain time period stories and fantasies like your cinderella story and ariel snow white or something about magic magical things and talking animals all those things are fantasy stories and some science fiction story it's about aliens robots and mystery story and some detective stories and traditional stories about all the like like one or the other over a time how it has developed and about a uh, culture and about a traditional food and all such thing when they tell you something about a tradition what happens so that is traditional stories and biography autobiography and informational stories poetry so there are different genres are available you can choose your favorite collect that favorite set of books fix a time and start reading so now you know how to develop this habit and what are the benefits of reading and uh, uh, what are the types of books that we need to choose how to make this habit regular all we need is only one week every day 15 minutes before we go to bed everything we know but we need to keep a track whether we are in the right track or not we need to see right for that as usual every week we used to give an activity in our inspiring in mind session but this time this activity is not going to be for only for this week it is going to continue forever and ever okay so read for 15 minutes choose initially you may choose a small book five pages or 10 pages book or if you if you have a greater interest then you can extend the pages like even if you can choose a big book also if you're not able to finish within a week or month no issues you can make a progress gradually but try to read minimum one to two pages at least on a daily basis and also make this checklist see in this checklist i've given informations like title author and star rating so for example you need to give a title for that book the title of the book you need to write So the title of the book is very important along with the author name and you can give the star rating for example if you like that book really good and the book is really good the story is really good you can give five star and if you're unable to understand the concept or the words are like highly complex for you in that case you can give two star or three star like that but in that summary you have to write what did you like the most in that particular book for example you need to write like it has very good pictures and the pages are really fine and the story is about friendship so i really liked it so all this whatever you liked in that book that you can mention so maybe like after you read 10 or 20 books if you just go through this checklist you may get to know that you would have given five star rating only for the particular author or only for a particular genre or only for a particular kind of a concepts so from that you may identify that this is my favorite genre or this he is my favorite author so this is the book is what making me interesting this kind of this genre of book is what making me interesting 
So all this information, you will try to get it from that checklist. So that will help you to choose your favorite books in the future. And you may also get that satisfaction that you have read so many books and what the concepts, what did I learn from that book that will make you recall the information. So this is a kind of a workout for your brain again. So at time, you need to pause for some reflections, how I, I have progressed in this week or in this month or from this year. So this is this will make you progress further. So this is the kind of the activity that's going to continue forever and ever. Kindly share your activity in this week. And even if you want to com share, continue sharing this activity, whenever you complete a book is also totally fine. Please share this activity as usual in the WhatsApp group. And so this reading, as I told you, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will visit and you will not have any afraid. Nothing can stop you because you already have some of the information, some of the other information in your hand. You no need to worry about anything. You're not afraid of anything because you have that knowledge. You have the people skills. You have that courage. So no situation will scare you in any way. So the knowledge is always a power and that knowledge, you can grab it through this reading habit. Today, a reader, uh, tomorrow, you will be a leader. So keep developing this reading habit skill. Apart from your academic books, there are n number of informations in this world. To explore that world full of information, start reading. And if you want to share your activity or if any of your friends likes books and already reading lots of books, and if they want to share their activity, their experiences, also please make them a part of our WhatsApp group. For that, you can contact us, Dr. Vidya Hari Ayer, 9840176088, and me, Mrs. Savita. So you can contact, you can reach us like plus 49172-564-5964. You can bring in your friends, and your cousins, your other family members also to be a part of this group. And whoever your friends like loves book and does this on an everyday basis, please make them also share this activity in that group. Okay, kids. And for those who have joined new today and to have a look at our previous sessions that are absolutely loaded with full of interesting informations and useful informations, please do uh, see our YouTube channel, Team Red Rockstars, Dr. Vidya Smile Dental Clinic. And you can share and subscribe our channel to get this useful information. Keep on sharing this information with your friends and family and be a part of our Inspiring Young Minds group. Thank you. Thank you, children. Please share your activity. We'll see you all next week. And Vidya Ma'am will be there from next week. So please share your activity, kids. Bye-bye. Have a great week. Bye-bye, kids. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye, man. Thank you, man. Bye, 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 man. Bye,